Boricua soy y siempre seré. ¿Sí? <risa> Hey guys, this is Vess and welcome back to another unboxing. So guys, this is another unboxing from another indie comic, but he's getting a lot, a lot of, you know, a lot of views and all that. He's from New York City, my hometown, and uh, he's awesome and his book is amazing. It's called La Borigenia and I'm very excited to be representing New York Boricuas. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super excited. It came in from Amazon because I went ahead and I ordered it. I also ordered the other one which was with Wonder Woman in it. I think I'm gonna be, you know, just making a quick little vlog on Instagram for that. Please look at Instagram, guys. I'll be vlogging there. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead. I wanna open this up and read a little bit about it and tell you guys my thoughts, my feelings about it. Just a mini review. Um, definitely, definitely excited. I know a lot of um, posts, some of the posts that I know have been waiting for me to do this and definitely excited to be doing this. Um, I think the second version is coming out June. So I'm waiting on that. Um, if you guys want me to do a review on that one also, just go ahead and leave the comment down below. I'll definitely do it because I love you guys. That's what I do. So yeah, guys, let's go down to this unboxing. So yes, we're going to go ahead and open this up. All right, it's open, but that was like a mess. You know what I'm saying? That was a mess. Okay, so I'm opening it up. This is what it looks. Oh my God, so cute. So this is what it looks like. It's a very hefty book. This reminds me of DC comic, um, how thick it is, just the way it is. Um, and guys, the artwork in here is beautiful. Like I'm digging it. That's why I got it. Cause I really dig it. Um, if nobody knows my background, you know, um, I don't know about my dad's side, but I know that my grandmother was is Puerto Rican. <laughs> she is a Puerto Rican and she always kept her heritage alive with us. I understand Spanish talking. It sounds weird. So I kind of don't do that, but, um, my first language was Spanish and then I turned into English and I just refused to do Spanish anymore, but I'm going to get out of that. But this is the reason why I got it just to connect right back to the roots and basically, you know, help support, you know, another person, another Latino that's inside the indie comic world. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is not easy and it's not easy for us, especially, you know, hello we're diverse so definitely trying to represent and you know keep spreading the love of indie comics again i want to let you guys know if you want it to be unboxing artists a set of unboxing let me know in the comments below because i want to make a segment where we talk about indie comics and uh review those so yeah guys um definitely looking at this book i'm really excited to just see how it is how beautifully done it is if you can see up close um you know she is a she's a representation of every like spanish child <laughs> so definitely why everybody goes ahead and they get this book um again this is from the this is from a guy who's from new york i'll be posting his name over here somewhere because um I butcher names and I suck. That's that's the real reason. Yes. So hit I Dio mio. I guado. That's his name. But uh some of it is in Spanish. So um that's one thing that you might have to do Google for. But it's all good, you know what I'm saying? Um I just I'm gonna read it and I'll be back, okay? I just wanna read it and be back about my my thoughts and everything. Okay, so I'm back and um, it's a really, it's lengthy in its way because it has a lot of words in it, but um, it's very sufficient enough so that you can understand some of it. I know I'm going to have to reread it because there's some things that I did miss, but um, as of, for the book, the book is amazingly done. The writing is awesome. 
I like the way that it converses into English into Spanish is like both in in the same aspect because uh, growing in New York growing up in New York that's basically what it was like my grandmother would speak to me in Spanish and I would speak to her in English and then sometimes she speak to me in English if she wanted to and uh, she just grew into the English habit it was broken but it was good um, and I just you know you get that sense um, at first in the beginning of the book you get that uh you get her already knowing some of her powers um she's young she's in a university and uh she's trying to become a scientist so you know you get that drift um then it goes into you know her and her origins where she came from so she came from brooklyn new york and uh she's in a university there um and she travels from there to harlem and you know she has her friends and stuff and her mom her her mom gives her something I, I think that's her mom and she gives her something that was passed down from generation to generation and it looks like you know it's red and uh, blue it looks like a cross like the ones from the caster patients it, it's kind of it looks nice so um stuff takes off uh she's in i think she's in her senior year she goes to uh she's supposed to go to puerto rico to you know just research because she's going over there as a scientist and stuff and um she goes to a party she comes back to the caves and she finds these like jewels that is in her grandfather's house so uh the reason why she finds that is because like the water is overflowing and stuff and she forgot to turn off the sink i guess and she has those jewels it was supposed to have, be like a rainstorm happening or something and the jewels formed together and became a spirit so it was the spirit of you know puerto rico and uh it's like she's like she's the sea she's her consciousness basically and gives her her powers and stuff so she starts learning her powers and all that good stuff that happens in it i don't want to like keep going in depth because i want you guys to read it for yourself because it's really good uh the cool part about this is um she's fighting for injustice and stuff within her peoples so it's um it's gonna be interesting to keep following with the story and go in depth this is issue one and issue one is hefty look at how thick that was as thick as the first <laughs> my first issue <laughs> but it gives you enough and it's uh it's really good really well made the art is beautiful i have to say and guys this character reminds me of myself <laughs> like all the time because my hair is naturally curly so i'm either rocking one of these or i'm either rocking one of these you know what i'm saying so you know my hair is just like all over the place and i feel her pain so the the cool part about it was she she was born with like asthma and she has asthma and stuff like that she has to build up cinema to you know be able to ride a bike and all that good stuff and it's like she transforms and the, how she transforms is really cool and you know even her like exploring her powers and seeing her expression and stuff like that that's really cool but i don't want to ruin too much of the story i don't want to like go in depth with everything that's in here because i want you guys to read it for yourself i think it's a really great read i think it's a great buy and i you know continue to support the artist um his name is aguado and um definitely take a look at him i follow him on instagram and i think i'm trying to follow him on facebook but i can't find it so definitely check him out show him some love um his books are on amazon so they're easy to find there and i also i know i also know he has a bookstore another thing he has is this uh this figure right here and she is gorgeous you know she makes me want to like take my money i don't care take it <laughs> but yeah um i just love the heritage in it and um just the representation they especially with the spirit because the spirit w w is something that i always seen within my household um let me show you guys the spirit before i even like go go away with you know my thoughts and stuff like that but basically this is the spirit right here and this is from her ancestors and stuff like that so that's really dope and i love the imagery of it but it's just gonna it just shows her from like tainos all the way down and when i say tainos i mean indian like puerto rican indians and that's what we are like i know in my heritage we have the indian gene i guess and my grandma she came from tainos so that's the indian version of puerto ricans <laughs> um, 
um so it goes from there and it moves its way all the way up and it goes from the canalizing and all that stuff and that's you know really dope to even think about that another cool thing about her outfit is her outfit is la bandera that means the flag and it's her her puerto rican flag and it's the star and then it comes all the way down with the stripes that's why it looks like that which is really cool um i didn't even put like i put it together but you know to see it wrap around her body because they do show it it made sense about the placement and all that so thinking about it in a graphic design mind I'm pleased with that. That's really cool. That's dope. So yeah, guys, uh, definitely check him out. Send your love. Say Vesenia sent you. <laughs> if you're from New York, definitely represent. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, guys. Get it together. Um, definitely going ahead and do that. Um, the one with Wonder Woman is coming out June 8th. I think that's the, that's when it's going to be shipped to me. So definitely, definitely, if you guys want me to review that one or give my little input, because I don't want to spoil books for you. I don't want you to, I don't want to spoil the artist or the um, comic creators for you. I just want to just give you a little, little bit of my thoughts. That's about it. And not give you too much of the story so that when you read it, you enjoy it and you'd be more surprised. You know what I'm saying? So if you definitely want me to take a look and when I get my next book, my next issue, you want me to go ahead and, um, you know, definitely let me know. Uh, I know this one is talking about Irma and trying to rebuild Puerto Rico, which my heart breaks for them because honestly speaking, I have family out there still. So I don't know all my family, but I know that I do have some out there and it does break my heart to see that even happen because I haven't even visit Puerto Rico or been there or like you know embellished in my heritage to even you know I wanted to see it before something disastrous like that happened and it's so sad that that happened but you know it's just it's very heartbreaking every disaster is heartbreaking even in Florida and Texas and stuff like that but it's like it's so messed up especially if you have such a disconnect like I couldn't even like put it into words I think I would have to tell you guys about my life for you to even understand like how much it means to me if I were ever to go down there because it's just a part of me I my grandmother put that seed in me to be that way so definitely represent you know La Boriqueña is awesome beautiful I think everybody should go for it um if you having trouble with some of the Spanish parts Google's your best friend I'll tell you that much I read it with no problem it was really easy to, for me to understand and stuff like that I love the transition and stuff like that because it reminds me of uses my home and how I am now it's not too much because you know my husband he's african-american so you know his spanish everything is lachuga so I'm like what are you talking about <laughs> but yes yeah, definitely um Guys, let me know if you really want me to, you know, do that one with Wonder Woman. It's her and Wonder Woman teaming up to fix up the disaster that's happening in Hurricane Irma. Um, you know, when it did destroy Puerto Rico. They still don't have no light, I think, because I've I've been following up on it and it's just like it's on it's crazy down there still. So I wanna see what happens and what's their thoughts on that book. And I know he's down there now. Cause I've been following his Instagram and I've been embellishing in it because I am like wanting to be there. But yeah, guys, um, that's what I have for this review. Um, my excitement was, it was fulfilled. Like I felt, I felt fulfillment after reading it. Um, definitely a part of me and definitely a story I will be following and supporting and everything like that. So definitely you know join me on the journey and if you go ahead and you go to his instagram and you talk to him or whatever let him know that the singing sent you <laughs> um, so yeah guys um if you like that go ahead and hit that like um if you already bought la boriqueña and you already have your thoughts and feelings about it go ahead and leave some information down below let, let let's let's bounce ideas off <laughs> Let's bounce. Um, I definitely want to hear from you guys. Um, again, do you guys want this to be an unboxing artist or um, you know artist spotlight something something with artists in it just to you know branch out to other in the comics because I feel like we're all family and we need to support each other. Um, and 
if you're new here and you're like vest that's really good you know a really good synopsis of what you think about the book and stuff like that go ahead and hit the subscribe become one of our family members of polls i continuously do things like this and art related stuff and helping artists and all that good stuff so if you want to be part of that definitely hit that and hit that bell also because i stream i stream every fridays at seven o'clock eastern standard time and every sundays at noon eastern standard time which is 12 p.m <laughs> I don't know why 12 a.m. and 12 p.m. gets me stumbled, but it always happens to me. So yeah, definitely, um, definitely check me out, guys. And uh, uh, I'm astonished. I'm still amazed, and I'm still trying to like process what I just read. So excuse me and my <laughs> and my brain. <laughs> uh, but yeah, definitely. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching and supporting, you know, what I do here and supporting in the comics and just talking to them and, you know, building the family. That's what I like. And I thank you guys so much. So again, thank you for watching, sharing, telling a friend and helping a friend. Have an amazing rest of the day. Bye bye.